Now, many of you will recognise my next guest, who we featured recently on the show. He's known as the Singing Dentist. He's one of two, 2016's biggest internet stars. Wanna do some teeth whitening? If you want to do some teeth whitening, we'll see your dentist and do whitening. Don't do illegal teeth whitening. When you smile, I can see that you've got great teeth. If you don't know, oh, oh, oh. the way your smile is beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. You might be gappy if you don't brush your teeth for two minutes twice a day. You'll need some filler. in your surgery. It is, yeah. Oh, is it? down the back drop of the surgery, oh, absolutely. Yeah. We had a great reaction to that. Yeah. So, um, we have invited you back while Dr. Hillary is on holiday to talk about all things dental. Yes. Um, so, we have got, and I know, actually, I was going to say, actually, what an amazing start to the year you've had. Yeah. We have to talk about that, because there you are in your surgery doing these things, and suddenly, here you are. Indeed, it's been quite unbelievable, really, and um, there's been a great response to the videos, and just went went mad really i ended up on the news and newspapers and things yeah. but it's good it's good to be able to bring some positivity for dentistry and just to also give an oral health message to the patients in a way that you know they might take it on board so I'm, so far so good yeah, i might have good. to seek you out i don't like my sure. dentist i'll give some business card afterwards mm. yeah, and i don't care if he hears it frankly oh <laughs> right let's get to some viewers sure. questions okay the first one is from maxine and rosie from worcestershire this is Rosie, she's 13 months. She has been practicing brushing her teeth since uh, her first tooth about six months. Just wondering how long we should try and get her to brush her teeth for um, and when her first visit to the dentist should be. If you could answer that, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, yeah. so that's, okay. that's a great question from Maxine. Yeah. Basically, what I would say to my patients is as soon as the teeth arrive, that's when you should start the dental journey. So my, Even the first couple or The something. first couple, exactly. Okay. So that's my first tip for the day. The first thing a dentist tip would be start the dental care yeah. as soon as the teeth are there. Oh, I see. So, but basically, with regards to how long you brush them, as long as it takes to make sure you've covered all the teeth. So if they've only got two small teeth, it might take you 10 seconds or so to brush them. But as long as you're covering the teeth, that's about right. And also, with taking them to the dentist, it's not so much about us trying to look at the teeth straight away, it's about getting the kids more comfortable in that environment, the sight, sound, smell, and also for the parents, for us to be able to give you some advice. So prevention advice, dietary advice, so as soon as you see some teeth, start that journey. Yeah, special soft brushes and exactly. all that sort of that. stuff. Yeah. Um, now Claire, James and Isabel have a question. It's always a nightmare trying to get the kids to brush their teeth. My question is, how can I encourage them and make it more fun? Okay, so that's a question a lot of parents. Great question. <laughs> I have a two-year-old, yeah. and um, yeah, I know exactly what Claire means. So yeah. I think again, the key is if you can start that process from an early age, it becomes more of a routine. It becomes more habit, so it's less of a struggle then to get them to do it. But certain things you can always do is brush your teeth together, make it more of a sort of event that you all do. So if there's siblings, like in Claire's situation, get them to brush teeth together. You brush your teeth at the same time, so they see you doing it and they imitate you and they copy you. Um, it's important to supervise children doing it up until the age of about seven. Mm. So if you can all get in there and do it, and also it's about trying to make it fun, as fun as possible, you know, for toothbrushing. If they have a special sort of brush or lights, and also their song. If kids like music, get their favorite song and play that for about two minutes, and then they brush mm. to the music. And keep sweets out of the house. Well, yes, yeah. keep, keep it down. Yeah. I, I have a keep the sugar that. down. Oh, we're here that uh, later today, <laughs> Tori. Because <laughs> we need to talk about, it seems like celebrities are cropping up everywhere mm. with a full mouth full of braces now. Um, what is it with the braces trend? We've had teenagers, nearly every teenager in the country has got a set of braces. Absolutely, yeah. So there, there's adult braces or adult orthodontics are becoming more and more popular, and we're seeing that in the celebrity community with Niall from One Direction, for example. Yeah. Um, I know Fern Cotton has had some treatment done. So mm. there is a move away from veneers, which is the way we used mm. to do things before. Um, they can be a bit destructive on mm. the tooth. So a better way is maybe moving your own teeth into a better position, doing a bit of tooth whitening to improve the color, and then that way it's your own teeth, you keep it like that for the rest of your life, and it's just easier to maintain your oral hygiene. So that's why I think we're seeing more and more adults doing it. All right, well, we're gonna go, we'll give you a bit of a quiz now, because there's all sorts of myths okay. and, and, and truths about dentistry. Mm -hmm. So the first one we've got is, um, there's never a bad time to brush your teeth, is that true? That is false. Oh. 
I do my, I do mine. I've done mine before I left home and just before I came on. I'll do them after lunch. The, the worst time is actually straight after you eat. Uh, because when you eat, the mouth has a bit of an acid attack. And if you brush straight away, you can rub that acid into the teeth and you wear away the, the teeth. So let saliva is the natural defense for your mouth. So let that kind of kick in and neutralize the acid. About 30 to 60 minutes. Okay. Cheese, we're told, is good for your teeth. That one is true. Ah. Yeah, so following on from point one, um, cheese is alkaline, so it helps to neutralize that acid. So I have another tip as well, and that's to combat the acid attack. Please, after you eat, have a lump of cheese. Oh, that is a good idea. We're going to have to get you to, to wrap your way all through this next time you're on. Sure. Um, bad breath, oh, there's nothing worse. Does that indicate an oral teeth problem? Or... False. Oh. It's, so really? although tooth decay gum disease, I love that sound. Oh, I hate it. So um, that can be a common cause of bad breath or halitosis, but there's lots okay. of other things that can cause it as well. So your tongue, you can have bacteria on the tongue. So a gentle scrape at night can help that. Medical conditions, tonsillitis, sinusitis, stomach reflux, things like that. But also dry Ooh, mouth. I'm never going to kiss anyone ever well, again. Thing. Morning <laughs> breath. Morning breath, dry mouth. You know, you wake up, say, yeah. hello, darling. Yeah. You faint. Yeah. Now, rinse teeth after brushing, surely yes. we should be doing that. No, that's oh. false as well. Yes, so the advice is always spit, don't rinse. Basically, the fluoride in the toothpaste provides a good protective layer of the teeth, prevents to tooth decay, leave it on All there for right. as long as possible. You need to stay here too, but oh, sadly, that is it. Really lovely to see Thanks you. Well. Thank you. Great. I'm sure you'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, right, up next.